Hi, my name is Morgan Eichley from Moapa Valley High School. Support for today's varsity quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Moapa Valley <laughs> and Bishop Gorman. <laughs> this is the Blue League Championship match of Varsity Quiz. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the 49th season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and the brightest high school students are matching wits in this unique academic competition. Tonight, the road to the Blue League Championship ends as either Moapa Valley or Bishop Gorman will emerge victorious. Let's meet our players, starting with Moapa Valley. There's Evan. Hey, Evan. Hey. Gabrielle. Hi. Howdy. Morgan. And Grady. Hello. And meet the coach for Moapa Valley, Jared Bushman. Hi, Jared. <laughs> Give it up for Jared. <laughs> now, for Bishop Gorman, we say hello to Aaron. How's it going? Hola. Paul? Hi. Nice to see you. There's Zach. Hi. And Ema. And say hello to the coach for Bishop Gorman, Jay Bonar. Give it up for Mr. Jay Bonar. <laughs> In this first round, there are 25 questions, with each correct answer worth five points. Ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. Reminiscent of a queen, what adjective indicates the theater of England from about the mid-16th to about the mid-17th century? Bishop Gorman, Paul. Victorian. Incorrect. Moapa, Gabrielle. Elizabethan. Judges? We'll take that. That's correct. Next question. Some spiders climb to a high point such as a tree branch, point their spinnerets into the air and squirt out long lines of silk which the winds take, enabling the little arachnids to travel long distances at great heights. Name this type of flight. Moapa, Grady. Windborne. Incorrect. Time, we're looking for either ballooning or kiting. Next question. As described by Upton Sinclair in his famous novel, Packingtown was in what city? Bishop Gorman, Zach. Chicago. Yes. Next question. Produced in massive numbers by nuclear reactions in stars, what fundamental particles are hard to detect because most of them pass completely through the Earth? That's Moapa Evan. Neutrinos. Yes. What is the term beginning with the letter M for the temporary suspension of a law or the temporary suspension of payments by a debtor or the temporary suspension of a planned activity. Moapa, Evan. Marshall. Incorrect. We were looking for moratorium. Next question. The justification for the invasion of Iraq in 2003 was the possibility that Iraq had uh, Bishop Gorman, Paul? Weapons of mass destruction. That's correct. Next question is a calculation question. Solve this inequality. The quantity P minus 3 over 2 is less than negative 5. Repeating, solve this inequality. The quantity P minus 3 over 2 is less than, and we'll go with Moapa, Evan. P is less than uh, negative 7. Judges? That is correct. Next question. Practically all the people who train at Paris Island off the coast of South Carolina are members of which branch of the U.S. Armed Forces? Bishop Gorman, Paul. The Marines. Judges? Yes. Very good. What color is missing in these titles from the following stories? The blank pony. Where the blank fern grows. Bishop Gorman, Zach. Red. Correct. What adjective indicates the type of prison sentence in which a criminal convicted of multiple crimes must finish serving the sentence for one offense before starting to serve the sentence for another? Bishop Gorman, Paul. Consecutive. Yes. Unlike cows, sheep, and goats, humans lack the enzyme cellulase that can break down what complex carbohydrate? Moapa Evan. Cellulose. Yes. Unless Congress selects a different date, the terms of new senators and members of the House begin on what day of the year following a general election? Moapa, Morgan. January 20th. That's incorrect. We're looking for January 3rd. Next question. Tamara Knight, Jack Ryan, 
and Mitch Rapp are fictional characters that work for what organization? Wapa Morgan. CIA. Yes. What measurement unit is missing in this passage? On a piano, the lowest A key is 27. Middle C is 262. Wapa Grady. Hertz. Yes. Next question. Amun, his wife Mut, and their son Khans comprised the Theban Triad, gods of an ancient civilization adjacent to what river? <phone rings> Bishop Gorman, Paul. The Nile. Yes. In 2015, the United States Senate confirmed Loretta Lynch's nomination for which cabinet position in the Obama administration? <phone rings> Bishop Gorman, Paul. Secretary of State. Incorrect. Moapa, Evan. Secretary of Transportation. Incorrect. It was Attorney General. Next question is a calculation question. Solve the following equation for y. y over 3 minus the quantity 2y over 5 equals negative 7 fifteenths. Repeating. For, uh, solve the following equation for y. y over 3 minus the quantity 2y over 5 equals negative seven fifteenths. And that's Moapa, Evan? Y equals seven. That is correct. In 1968, what escaped American convict was arrested in London and charged with the assassination of Martin Luther King, a deed to which he confessed? Moapa Grady? Lee Harvey Oswald. Incorrect. Uh, we were looking for James Earl Ray. Next question, what's the function of the word mother in the following line by Benjamin Franklin? Diligence is the mother of good luck. Bishop Gorman, Paul? No. Yes. Next question, El Chacon and Paracutan are volcanoes located in what country? Moapa, Evan? Chile. No? Mexico. A member of the House of Representatives who was elected by the voters of a state and not the voters of a specific congressional district is called a member at what? Bishop Gorman, Paul? Large. Yes, sir. Next question. Anatomically speaking, a direction toward the back of the body is described as posterior or dorsal. A direction toward the front of the body is anterior or what? Bishop Gorman, Zach. Frontal? No. We were looking for ventral. Next question. What unit is equal to the amount of charge transferred by one ampere of current in one second? Moapa, Grady? A watt? No. Bishop Gorman, Aaron? An ohm? No, it's a coulomb. What two officials were at the center of the Cold War kitchen debate? Bishop Gorman, Paul. Nikita Khrushchev and um, Nixon. And that is correct. The Boxer Rebellion in China was launched by a group called the Iho Chon, otherwise known as the Righteous and Harmonious. Bishop Gorman, Paul? Fists. All right. So we have come to the end of the first round. You know, each uh, player here at Varsity Quiz submits an info card to the CCSD Varsity Quiz staff, revealing sometimes humorous details. We're going to take a moment now to learn more about our players, starting with uh, Moapa and Evan. Hi, Evan. Hi. Good to have you back. You're an 11th grader. Yep. It says here that you have an interest in 3D printing. Yes. How's that going? What do you, what do you 3D print? Well, I like to build cool stuff like uh, engineering things and test them out on it. And I, I want to start a YouTube channel off of it. This is going to be cool. Awesome. Well, good <laughs> luck with that and good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Evan. Here's 11th grader Gabrielle. Hi, Gabrielle. Hi. You are into calligraphy? What, what, where do you use your calligraphy? Um, I, just, for, just for doodles or for for stationery. Do folks ask it to do inv wedding invitations and stuff like that? Not yet. <laughs> Maybe they should. Good luck with that, Gabrielle, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thanks for being Thank here. You. Here's uh, senior Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Hi. You play a musical instrument, right? Yes, sir. And it says here you even teach children? Yes, I play piano, and I've taught out of my own private studio for about six years. 
What, uh, how old are your youngest students? Um, my youngest student is um, six. Wow. Is that fun? Yeah, it's great. Awesome. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with Varsity Quiz. Thank you. And here's Grady. Hi, Grady. Hello. Welcome back. Reading a hobby? Yeah. I, Any specific type of book that you like to read? Uh, fiction. A you favorite know, yeah. author? Uh, Brandon Sanderson's got to be my favorite. Awesome. Well, keep on reading, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Let's hear it for our team from Moapa. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about our players from Bishop Gorman. It's uh, 11th grader Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hello. Welcome back. What is your favorite subject in school? Uh, U.S. history, I believe. Well, you wrote down AP Spanish, but that's okay, too. Close enough. I'll bet you like both of them. Uh, what do you like about either one? Um, well, I'm Latino, so of course Spanish interest, interests me, and I'd consider myself very patriotic, so U.S. history is just as interesting. Awesome. Well, good luck with both of those pursuits and here on Varsity Course. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, here's a senior, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hello. Nice to see you again. It says you're involved in student government. Yes, sir. What do you do down there? <clears throat> well, we plan most uh, school events, and we set up and decorate for them. And we, we put on um, service events and other opportunities for the student body. Well, thanks for doing that. And good luck with the rest of your time there at Bishop Gorman. And uh, good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Here is uh, 11th grader Zach. Hey, Zach. Hi. Welcome back. You, too, play a musical instrument outside of the marching band. Uh, yes, I play the piano. How long have you been doing that? Since er, 11 years. Any style of music you like to play? Uh, modern and jazz. Right on. Good luck with that. And good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thank you, Thank Zach. You. Here is Ima. Uh, welcome back. It says here you have a hobby of writing. What kind of writing do you do, Ima? Um, I do a lot of short story things, primarily fiction or fantasy. So. Been doing that for a long time? Um, yeah, a few years ever since. Been Published? Class, essentially. No, not, not yet. yet? Not yet. Although awesome. I did win a Scholastic Art and Writing Award for one of my pieces. So. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Good luck with the writing and good luck on Varsity Quiz. That's the team from Bishop Gorman. <laughs> and coming up next. Our bonus round here on Varsity Quiz. The bonus round is next. The score as we go into round two is Bishop Gorman, 45, Moapa Valley, 35. Now, there was an answer that was accepted as correct in round one for Bishop Gorman. It turned out that that answer was incorrect. We offered the question to Moapa Valley. They did not get the answer correct. So you, if you're keeping score at home, we wanted to bring you up to date. So we do want to introduce a couple of new players for Moapa Valley. We say hello to Anson. Hi, Anson. Good to see you. And there's a new player for Bishop Gorman as well. It's ninth grader Maya. Hi, Maya. Good to have you here. Good luck to both teams. In the bonus round, each of 10 possible questions is worth five points. Team with the correct answer gets two bonus questions. The round is timed at six minutes, and time starts when I begin this first question. What figure of speech is used repeatedly in this line from Romeo and Juliet? Beautiful tyrant, dove-feathered raven, fiend angelical. And that's Moapa, Grady. Oxymoron. And that is correct. Bonus questions now for Moapa only. Answer the following associated with literature. First, what term for a long and adventurous journey is derived from the name of a Homeric character who traveled far and wide in making his way home from the Trojan War? Second, before being corrupted by the ring, what Lord of the Rings character was originally known as Smeagol? Gollum. Captain? Okay. Uh, our first answer is the Odyssey, and the second, or Odyssey, and the second answer is Gollum. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now, this question for both teams. The Battle of the Thames and the Battle of the Horseshoe Bend were part of what 19th century American war with a European power? Bishop Gorman, Aaron? War of 1812. And that is correct. Bonus questions now for Bishop Gorman only. Answer the following associated with wars. First, what New England War ended in 16, six, uh, make that 1676 when Philip, chief of the Wampanoag Indians, was tracked down and killed? Second, the invasion at Gallipoli in 1915 was intended to take what German ally out of the war? Our answers are uh, King's Philip's War for the first, and for the second, the Ottoman Empire. Uh, the first one is correct. The second answer was, we can accept that? 
Okay, so the judge says both are correct. You've got bonus points. And now this next question is for both teams. Brian Pagliano, a man directly involved in setting up Hillary Clinton's private email server, refused to testify before Congress, citing his right to do so under what constitutional amendment? Moapa Grady. The Fifth Amendment. And that's correct. Bonus question is now for Moapa only. Answer the following associated with the U.S. Constitution. First, Section 9 of Article 1 of the Constitution prohibits passage of ex post facto laws and bills of what? Second, the South ended up with greater representation in Congress after the Civil War because what clause of the Constitution was voided? Captain? One is sale and second is three-fifths. Three-fifths is correct. We can take that. The first one was a tainter, so you get some bonus points. Next question for both teams. The apparent change in wavelength of sound caused by the motion of the source, the observer, or both is called what? A, a Moapa Grady? The Doppler effect? Yes. Bonus questions now for Moapa only. Answer the following associated with science. First, what kind of muscle tissue consists of small fibers that are tapered at both ends? Second, in what part of the body are platelets and white blood cells manufactured? Captain? All right. Oh, sorry. You're the fine. first is striated and the second is bone marrow. Bone marrow is correct. We were looking for smooth muscle tissue for the first one, so some bonus points. Next question for both teams is a calculation question. Express the following as a decimal. Four times ten to the negative second power. Repeating, express, and that's MWAPA, Evan. Point zero four. Yes, bonus question is now for MWAPA only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, in relation to imaginary numbers, what is I to the negative sixth power? Second, when the radius of a circle is increased by 100%, by what percent does the area of the circle increase? Repeating, in relation to imaginary numbers, what is I to the negative sixth power? And when the radius of a circle is increased by 100%, what, by what percent does the area of the circle increase? Uh, number one is negative one, and the second answer is 40. Uh, the first part is correct, it is negative one. The second part was 400%. So you get some bonus points, and this question now for both teams. Nearly 2,000 years after it was built, what structure in Rome is still the world's largest? Moapa Grady? The Colosseum. Incorrect, the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Bishop Gorman, Paul. St. Peter's Basilica? No, we were looking for the Pantheon. Another question for both teams. In December 2017, a high-speed Amtrak train derailed in what state? Bishop Gorman, Zach? Pennsylvania. Incorrect. Killing at least three people and injuring dozens more. Moapa, Evan? New York. No, it was Washington. Next question for both teams. What book is divided into 114 chapters called surahs? Bishop Gorman, Paul. The Quran. Yes. Bonus questions now for Bishop Gorman only. Answer the following associated with divisions. First, what nation is divided into 26 cantons, each of which was an independent state until 1848? And second, what are divided by bots? Dots. For the first question, Switzerland. For the second, no answer. Switzerland is correct. Bots, dots, divide highway lanes. And we're out of time. That's the end of this bonus round. But before we move on, we want to take a moment to thank the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. They provide judges and timekeepers at each and every match of our season, a season that begins much earlier in the school year, dozens of matches at various schools. We appreciate the Kiwanis Clubs of Las Vegas and their dedication to Varsity Quiz. We salute all of their fine work in the community as well. Also, a quick shout out, please, to the staff and leadership of the Clark County School District's Student Activities Department. They coordinate every step of the program from early in the school year all the way to the championships. Our speed round is next.
The score as we go into round three, Moapa Valley with 80, Bishop Gorman with 70. Anything can happen in this last round. Before we get going, we have some new players we would like to introduce. Two new players for Moapa, there's Sedona. Hi, Sedona. Gary, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, subtle, awesome. Uh, one new player for Bishop Gorman, it's Daniel. Hey, Daniel, nice to see you. Good luck to both teams. In this speed round, there are 30 questions with correct answers worth five points. Now, this is also a timed round at six minutes, so We'll get to as many questions as we can. If we happen to read all 30 questions before the six minutes is up, the match will be over after that response to the 30th question. And the speed round begins right now. What sea lies between Djibouti and the Sinai Peninsula? Bishop Gorman, Zach. Red. Yes. Monetary policy in the United States is established by what central bank? Bishop Gorman, Paul. The Federal Reserve. Yes. What geometric solid can be considered a prism with an infinite number of faces? Moapa, Grady? A cylinder. Yes. What is the opposite of a humectant? Did they get in in time? They did not. We were looking for a desiccant. Next question. Name the world's first mass-produced affordable car. Moapa, Evan. Model T. Yes. At the very end of the 19th century, Emilio Aguinaldo led an independence movement in what Asian country? Bishop Gorman, Paul. The Philippines. Yes. Since the annual rainfall in Calama, Chile, averages about two-tenths of an inch annually, you can guess that it is in the region. Moapa, Grady? The Atacama Desert. Yes. Who won the presidential election in which Theodore Roosevelt ran as a progressive? Bishop Gorman, Paul. Woodrow Wilson. That's correct. Name either of the lobes between the frontal and occipital lobes of the brain. Moapa, Evan. Cerebral. Incorrect. And time, we were looking for temporal or parietal. What kind of music is associated with Bourbon Street? Moapa, Grady. Jazz. Yes. An autologist might use an otoscope to examine what part of your body? Moapa Grady. Your ears? Yes. To the nearest whole number, about how many seconds does it take sound to travel one mile at sea level? Bishop Gorman, Paul. Seven. Incorrect. Time, we were looking for five seconds. What was the name of Long John Silver's parrot in the novel Treasure Island? Moapa Grady? Polly? No. Uh, time, we're looking for Captain Flint. Next question, blood flows from what vein as it enters the left atrium? Bishop Gorman, Paul. Ventricle? Incorrect. Uh, Moapa, Evan? Pulmonary? That is correct. Next question, how many points are awarded for a safety in American football? Bishop Gorman, Zach. Two. Yes. Name the body of religious leaders who elects the spiritual head of the Roman Catholic. Bishop Gorman, Paul. The College of Cardinals. Yes, sir. What newspaperman was credited with saying, Go West, young man. Moapa, Grady. Horace Greeley. Yes, sir. Name any of the three South American countries across which latitudes of one degree north and one degree south run. Bishop Gorman, Zach. Colombia. Yes, or Ecuador or Brazil. Next question, what word completes this cliche? You could have knocked me over with a blank. Moapa Grady? Breeze? No. Bishop Gorman, Zach? Feather? Yes, sir. Here's a calculation question. We don't repeat here in the third round. What is the base 10 equivalent of the base three numeral 1,000? Did they get in in time? I think so. Okay, Moapa, Sedona? Three. Incorrect. And that's time. We were looking for 27. Next question. With what kind of tax system would all taxpayers pay 15% of their incomes to the government? Moapa, Gary? Flat tax? Yes. Which layer of the atmosphere do we call home? Bishop Gorman, Paul. The troposphere. Yes. What Japanese optics company was named for the highest mountain in Greece and the home of the Greek gods? Moapa Grady? Olympus. Yes. Name the ability of a substance to dissolve in a solvent. And that's Moapa Evan? Soluble. 
We'll accept that. Very good. In music, what is the term for the regular pulse or beat? <laughs> Moapa Evan? Rhythm. No. Bishop Gorman, Zach? Tempo. No, we were looking for measures or bars. Next question. The decennial census is conducted by the U.S. Census Bureau, which is part of what executive department? Moapa, Grady? Department of the Interior. Incorrect. In time, it's the Department of Commerce. The Enlightenment was an intellectual movement that became widespread in Europe during what century? Bishop Gorman, Paul? The 18th century? Yes. The name for what tropical fruits, also a slang name for a hand grenade? Moapa, Grady. Pineapple? Yes, sir. The San Francisco Bay Area annexed by the United States with the signing of what treaty? Moapa, Evan. Guadalupe Hidalgo. Yes. What European country has dominated the cut flower industry for decades? Bishop Gorman, Paul. The Ukraine. Incorrect. And that's time. It is the Netherlands. And we're out of time. We're actually, we're out of questions. So the third round is over. Let's find out who won. Our final score, Moapa Valley 140 to Bishop Gorman's 120. Moapa Valley is the champion. But well, we want to thank both teams. It really was an excellent match, kind of a nail-biter. Congratulations to Moapa High School for the win and to present the trophy, one of our sponsors. In fact, without whom we couldn't even do Varsity Quiz, representing the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas is the club president, John Case. Go ahead, John. Yes, on behalf of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, I'd like to present this trophy for the 49th competition in the Blue League to Moapa. <laughs> Congratulations, Moapa Valley. John, thank you. And thank you to the Kiwanis Club for your ongoing support of Varsity Quiz. We couldn't do it without you. Now, we invite you to join us next Monday. We're going to have the All-Star Match featuring top players from the 25 teams throughout the Blue League. Going to have a couple of rounds of fun-themed questions, a couple of rounds of serious questions. It's a match designed for fun, but also bragging rights. That's next Monday at 7.30. Another exciting night of Varsity Quiz right here on Vegas PBS. Good night.